Hello everybody, this is Didi Richard One here once again on Jimmy Master Animatronics and what I have to review for you today is the Spirit Halloween Animated Death Crawler Halloween Prop. Now this is a very old item. It's from the very early 2000s at Spirit Halloween. Really one of their first major um, animatronics they sold. And this guy is made pretty well. He's um, relatively thick latex and he's very heavy and he comes in one piece and what this guy does as the name would imply he he crawls forward and moves his arms now if you have the remote which comes with him you can make him go forward backward left right to the side whatever now unfortunately um, this one I got I got this uh, on Craigslist for I'd say roughly I think he was 50 bucks maybe less I don't remember actually yeah I think he was $50 and he did not come with the box or the remote however with the um, just the sound activated option said the remote option whenever you clap he can just crawl straight forward then you just have to grab him and move him backwards but still gets the job done and he's actually pretty advanced for what he does and as for the company that makes him, I always thought it was YJ, but I think there was somebody that was saying that it's actually not YJ, but I don't know who else it would be, so I actually have no idea. We're just going to say it's YJ for now. Um, the only problem with him is I think his neck is actually broken because this is very loose, but it doesn't really matter. So instead of this, he's like that, but it's fine. Here's his shirt here all with a bunch of holes and stuff in it. And if we grab him, flip him upside down, you can see all the different controls. So here's the mechanism. Um, the wheels move with this gearbox here. These wheels are sort of free rolling. And this is the wheel that I believe rotates when you want to change the direction. And he takes D batteries, hence why this is such a ginormous uh, battery compartment here. Because it takes D batteries. There is the very large speaker it has. And it actually does have a volume control right here. That's what this little knob is. doesn't work the best, but it's still volume control. And I believe the, there's two generations of this, and the first gen does not have that. So this is the second. Um, so it has off remote control and sound activation, but it also has two modes, which is a slow mode and a fast mode, and not many people probably knew that. So if you want them to crawl slower, or you want them to crawl faster, that's how you can adjust that. And there is the sound sensor right there. Um, he's sort of a simple animatronic, yet fairly advanced at the same time, because he has the two different modes with his speed, volume control, and different activation options. So, yeah, this is definitely a well-made item. It's fairly heavy. If I were to sell this on eBay, I'm sure the shipping would be a pretty large amount, but it may not be just because of the weight. But it's mostly on the box size instead of the weight. But yeah, here's his hands. Very nice. Um, sort of a gory character, um, which those aren't necessarily up my alley. But yeah, here's his face. He looks very special. Yeah, that's definitely snapped. I think I remember it snapping, but there's a spring in there and it holds up, so that's fine. But yes, yeah, so that's really all I have to say about him. And we will not use the remote option since I don't have that. Maybe I'll get one someday. And then, oh yeah, he doesn't have any split gears. It actually works pretty well. Then we are going to go to sound control is what it says. And then... Yeah, and he's going to start up right away, so we have to put the camera down, but then we'll get to the crawling action. And we will start out in the slow mode, and then we will go to fast. There's a few uh, pieces of pine straw and stuff when we used him in the driveway on Halloween, so that's just going to be in there. Yeah, let me put the camera down, and we'll get him going. So, here we go. Yeah, that's the slow mode. You can 
it's right here. I'm getting stuck on the leaves. I'll have to clean that out someday. Let's see here. Okay, so that's the slow mode, and I'll put him in fast. And we'll we'll turn the volume up all the way. This, well, that is all the way. So. It's really loud. Okay, and let me just move him back here for a second. You can get pretty loud. So yeah, that's the loudest he can get, and then before was the quietest he can get. So not completely silent. But yes, yeah, so fairly simple track, fairly simple animation, but he's pretty well made and he's a pretty cool uh, classic prop to use. So if you come across one of these and it's not like too, too expensive, I would definitely say go for it. Um, make sure you, you can try and get the remote control or else you have to keep picking him up like I've done in this review. And that can get annoying. So if, if you have this on a Halloween display, just make sure you have somebody there to keep grabbing him so he doesn't like crawl into the street or something. And if you do use this outside, chances are Zaro pine straw and stuff will get stuck in the wheels, but you can clean that out. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about him, so thanks for watching.